Okay, I will. So I am a conservation biologist and an environmental consultant. So what that means is out west in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming, there are a whole bunch of uh, uh, there is a whole bunch of development going on that isn't very sustainable. It's oil and gas development um, in the public of Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. And so my job is to go out ahead of the development and to find all of the endangered species that are there, whether they're plants or mammals or fox, you know, or raptors, so that's owls, eagles, falcons, and accipiters, and make sure that their habitat isn't affected negatively by the development. So I've gotten to work with a whole bunch of incredible animals um, over thousands of square miles of the West, and we've pers I've personally gotten to save a huge amount of their habitat. example of a great horned owl, um, my job is really like this huge treasure hunt outside in the wilderness looking for endangered species. And my specialty is raptors, so birds of prey. This is an example of one of the habitats that I've had to look for. And again, it's just a huge treasure hunt. I'm looking for all, all of the active raptors that are nesting in this area. Um, here's another one. Um, and if we succeed and I find a nesting raptor, we get to then save the land from development that would otherwise bulldoze it and cause the animals to have to leave and, you know, leave their homes. So in other um, words... This is an example of a... Uh, hmm. So in other words, it, when, you, when you go running around and you discover um, an endangered animal, you, uh, you report that, yes. and then the oil companies cannot uh, do drilling in that area. Correct, yes. And I've got a picture coming up of what it looks like when they do. And you'll actually, I'll, I'll just go to that really quickly here. This is what hydraulic fracturing field looks like and you can see there's just this huge impact on the landscape these flares will burn for years 24 7 um, and obviously it's just gonna scare all of the animals in the area away um, and that can be hugely detrimental to the environment and, and its stability um, and its food chain in the area um, so this is a very special owl, and it's a very special owl to me. It's one of the, the biggest things I've been able to do. This is a Mexican spotted owl. It's critically endangered. I was able to find two of them, and that one owl saved this entire 12-mile-long canyon system, 13,000 acres, uh, for the next 17 years, uh, which, is, which is a really big deal. They were going to hydraulically frack this entire canyon. And now um, it is just going to be preserved for these owls. They had four offspring this year. They're helping to keep their species alive, which is helping to minimize the rodent population in the area, which decreases diseases and does a whole bunch of other great things for the environment. So now when you come to visit, if you decide to, because it's public land, it'll look like this, and it, and it won't look like this. Um, you know, what we do is, is, is very important. Um, I'm preserving habitats so that hundreds of species of animals can can hang out and survive, I guess, and not be kicked out by oil and gas. Wow, that's... Um, uh, and so these are just a few projects. Yeah. No, go for it, Wayne. Uh, that, this is a, a really an, in, an interesting um, job that you have. Is it ever dangerous, Kyle, for you? It is because we're, we spend huge amounts of time alone um, in the wilderness and, you know, five, ten days at a time, and that can be dangerous, you know, if you can get injured or, or, or whatever. And there are, you know, animals out in those wild areas that, that have the potential to harm you, so we just, you know, we're careful. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Uh, what are, what um, are some of the animals so, that, um, that you um, have to kind of look out for for yourself to be, to be careful? Rattlesnakes are a big one. Um, there's a lot of rattlesnakes out in the desert where I work. Um, mountain lions are a big one. Um, they are out at night. They're nocturnal predators. And a lot of the work that we do is at night and, and you're alone or in a very small group of biologists um, in really remote settings. And we've had a couple of pretty close encounters with mountain lions at work. Um, so that's definitely probably the scariest one. 